Good afternoon. Welcome to Finding Happiness in Hard Times. My name is Ken Burtness, and I'm coming to you from Haleiwa out at the North Shore. And today is our first program of 2024, a momentous occasion to celebrate. And to do that, we've got a very special program for you uh, that sort of really fits in in my way of thinking, and it's called The Magic of Birth and the Joy of Parenthood. I mean, you look at New Year's, and New Year's is always a baby springing onto the screen <clears throat> and looking forward to everything that's going to happen in this year. And uh, I have a very special person here with me. Her name is Brandy Wilson. She's a software engineer out at Seattle, Washington, but born and raised here in Hawaii. Welcome to the show, Brandy. It's good to be here. Thank you, Uncle Bert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Brandy is uh, expecting in the spring, first time mother, a joyful thing that's about to happen. And uh, she and I are gonna talk about that today and pass on some feelings and thoughts to everybody in the audience. And I'm certainly looking forward to that. Um, now, one of the things that happens, uh, at least happened to me uh, with my child when uh, she showed up one day, uh, <clears throat> was all the things that I had been anticipating for a long time. And all of a sudden, they're there. And uh, the things that I was looking forward to uh, came true all in a rush. And uh, Brandy, maybe that's a good place to start. Uh, what you are looking forward to most of all uh, in this springtime birth. I feel like you put it very well. <laughs> <laughs> feels like for so long I was uh, waiting and trying um, for pregnancy and just um, for the possibility of having a child. Um, and now it just feels like everything's suddenly almost here and I'm maybe freaking out a little bit. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, what am I looking forward to? Um, like, it sounds stupid, but like, just like baby smiles. <laughs> <laughs> like I I'm just I'm really eager to to see my my baby and just sort of see what kind of person they're going to be and even just like them as like an infant and a toddler and and see like do they cry a lot do they laugh a lot like what kind of what kind of baby is this going to be um it's just kicking around in my stomach and i'm just like oh you're you're you seem like an active one but we'll see how how you come out so um that is definitely i think sort of the immediate what i'm looking forward to um kind of in the long term i'm definitely looking forward to um seeing how they grow and and seeing sort of what kind of uh, person they become and that's sort of that's a little ways off but um yeah just kind of seeing what who this who this person is yeah and the so. thing is it happens quickly <laughs> you just turn around and all of a sudden they're four uh eight uh they're a teenager and uh of course then sometimes it goes by slowly as well that's uh one of the things that I want to mention at the very beginning of the show is that uh, parenthood, like every wondrous thing that happens to us in life, is uh, has its difficulties as well as its joys. Uh, but since our program is finding happiness uh, in hard times, we're going to stick to the very positive things uh, because there's so much joy uh, coming up. And uh, for one, I know Brandy very well, and I know that whatever comes up on the negative side, she can deal with. I have all the faith in this uh, this lady who sits across from me on the TV screen. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on the uh, the very uh, positive things that uh, are look we're looking forward to. So um, so I guess maybe a good place to start is fun, you know, uh, in addition to what you're looking forward to. What, uh, what fun moments are coming up for you and your child? Yeah. I don't know about the like immediate like <laughs> I feel like immediate is definitely going to be feed the baby <laughs> and <laughs> let it sleep burp the baby like change its diaper and stuff but besides that um I think I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing their like I had mentioned seeing their personality and seeing them grow and seeing what kind of person they're going to be but like related to that um like just all the experiences that come with being a child um 
I have really fond memories of just various little things, like all the little details of just random moments when you're a kid. Like uh, we just had the holidays and uh, it was nice to sort of drive around and see lights, like all these people who have decorated their houses with lights and whatnot. And that was something I remember like with my parents, them driving us around um, my home of Waimanalo, Kailua, like just going around and seeing all the lights that people have put up um, for Christmas and just the wonder of like, oh, look at the lights. It's so cool. <laughs> um, and it's just like little moments like that where I, I'm looking forward to giving them those little moments essentially of like, oh, let's go. Let's go to this area where there's a bunch of light, like houses decorated um, with lights or various other like little things. Um, there's a bunch of like seasonal events you can do here um, in Seattle um, that I've sort of slowly been like keeping track of in the back of my head being like, ah, pumpkin patching. That would be kind of cool to go uh -huh. with like a little one and go see the pumpkins. Not something you got to get to do in Hawaii necessarily, but here we have pumpkin patching and it's just like oh i can take them there's gonna be like maybe a little farm maybe some hot chocolate and cider um so i'm i'm looking forward to exposing them to to things that i remember as a child but maybe creating new ones that i never got to experience when i was a child and seeing sort of the wonder and just them enjoying themselves and and discovering life yeah well, that leads right into my my next question, which was about being a, basically a two place person. I mean, you're you've spent so much time uh, uh, in Hawaii, and now you're up in the Northwest in in Washington, and each place in the world has such beauty and such differences. And one of the things I remember about uh, my daughter when she was young was the joy that it brought both of us when we experience those new things. Like you're talking about experiencing the lights of Christmas and the holidays, uh, wondrous things. I, I remember very clearly uh, as soon as possible, we were taking uh, our daughter down to uh, the beach. And uh, <laughs> I still remember her hardly being able to walk, uh, you know, trotting along the beach and just enjoying it so, so much. And, uh, and both Hawaii and Washington have beauties. I mean, I, I spent some time in Washington too, the Northwest, uh, with its own beaches and uh, coastline, uh, with its own mountains. Uh, it's a joyful place to be, just as Hawaii is, and and you get to show your your new <laughs> your coming child both of those places, and uh, and they were just great memories uh, for me as a parent with uh, with my kid. That's for sure. So. Uh, any uh, when you come back, and luckily Brandy comes back to Hawaii for vacations on a sort of regular basis. So uh, uh, you just mentioned uh, one of the joys of Washington. What uh, what are you going to introduce her to in Hawaii when you bring her back to uh, show her off to Hawaii? Yeah. yeah um, well, you pretty much mentioned it. The beach. <laughs> like I have so many memories of just the beach um growing up specifically um i was very lucky to live nearby the beach when i was growing up so we uh as as children we went to the beach all the time neighbors by ourselves or not by ourselves but with our parents um but i that's one thing i i kind of I almost want to come back to Hawaii more because I want to sort of expose them to the beach more because we have, like you mentioned, we have beaches here, but they're, they're not the same. They're, we're, A, it's very cold here. <laughs> Even in the summer, it's freezing. Um, and maybe that's something that locals here get used to, but I definitely am a Hawaii girl as far as temperature is concerned. And I just love the beaches in Hawaii, so. That's one thing I definitely am am looking forward to um, sharing with them is uh, going back and visiting my family and taking them to the beach. Like I have memories of my my got my grandfather who has passed away since. Um, but he like when he was younger and we were like little tiny kids, he would like we'd go over the beach and like play little games like running up and down the um, 
trying to to not get hit by the waves or whatnot, um, staying out of the water's way, little games like that. He'd pick us up and like swirl us around like a pinwheel, um, just stuff like that. Like, I want them to have great memories with their with their grandparents, um, and like just uh, of the beach in general. Like, I want them to be. I want that to be a part of of their their childhood, remembering those moments um, hanging out at the beaches in Hawaii. Um, yeah, certainly. And uh, of course, I spent lots of time with uh, Randy and her parents and to her brother uh, when they were living out at Waimanalo. And Waimanalo is a very special beach. Uh, it uh, has its own features. And that's one thing I love about uh, Hawaii in general and Oahu and specifically is that all the beaches are different. They're like, like different experiences. And Waimanalo was certainly a good one. And I I also knew uh, Randy's grandfather, who was a very positive, happy person that uh, was always joyful to be around. So uh, that's really, uh, you know, that's that's really a, a wonderful uh, type of thing. Um, let's see, where should we go from here? Do you want to talk about uh, <laughs> <laughs> where where else did uh, in in addition to the beaches here in Hawaii? And uh, oh, I was going to say about. Uh, the interesting thing about Washington was, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, going to the beaches in Washington is, uh, yeah. But uh, I love to go to the <laughs> harbor, you know, and the harbor was always interesting. And uh, and then, of course, you got the San Juan Islands uh, down there, which is fascinating, too. So uh, yeah. there's lots of things to uh, to look forward to down there as, as well as to here. Uh, yeah, it'll be something that'll be kind of interesting because in Hawaii, you don't really have the idea of like day trips like as far as like you can go around the island in what two hours uh or so i guess that i'm speaking of oahu specifically in various islands i assume it's going to be slightly different um but yeah like here you can go on a day trip to somewhere or even a weekend trip somewhere mm -hmm. um and like you had mentioned the san juan islands and um like i went to a small little i think i'm not sure if it's the san juan islands i'm really bad at geography but um anacortes there's a, a little sort of island uh north west of seattle about an uh, two hour drive three hour drive i don't remember specifically um but like cute little quaint little like little town um and you can just kind of take a weekend trip there and hang out and do some local stuff there and then come back to seattle um so that'll be kind of interesting having sort of uh, sort of a bigger area to sort of explore growing up in hawaii i actually didn't like it took me a while after i moved here to really capture the idea of like a road trip. I was just like, why would anybody <laughs> do that? <laughs> um, and part of that is I get terribly motion sick, but, um, but yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to, to try some new things that I'm not necessarily, I may not be comfortable with, but hey, like maybe it will be an interesting experience, memorable um, in one way or another for, um, for the baby. So. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, the wonderful thing about being a parent is you, you get a double joy in that you get to go back to your own childhood because of watching your child uh, interact with their environment around them, like the beach or like, uh, you know, the ocean, you know, or the mountains or everything, it brings you back and you see it with your young eyes again. And, but you see it differently. You're also seeing it through their eyes. Uh, and that's pretty fantastic. Um, the nice thing about uh, the San Juan Islands, which I loved when I visited the San Juan Islands, was that you could get there by ferry. And when I came to Hawaii in the 70s, you could get to the other islands by a ferry. We can't do that anymore. We sort of have to fly over to the uh, our neighbor islands. Uh, but in the San Juan, you can take that boat and hopefully it won't get you seasick. Uh, and, <laughs> and, I'm guess, and I'm guessing your, your daughter will be very, uh, find it very interesting as well. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing about new kids is they find so many things interesting. Yeah. The next thing I wanted to ask you, Brandy, was about, uh, you know, we're talking about the environment with which you're, we're taking them to. What about the things? Uh, a lot of parents look forward to giving their kids things, toys, and uh, introducing them to things like books and music. And can you tell us a little bit about your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, 
I think my thoughts around that generally is I would love to expose them to as many different things as possible, um, just so that, like, you can see where their interests lead them, like, see what inspires them. Um, like, I... I think partially because you, Uncle Bird, actually, like, I feel like I have really made writing a part of my my hobbies and my life. Um, and I think my parents encouraged me to to get into art, and I really enjoyed art. Um, so those have become sort of two of my main hobbies um, as an adult. And, and those are things that, like, other people, like, they didn't force me into, but they gave me sort of an influence that, um, and sort of guidance toward being like, hey, I really do enjoy this, and I, I want to continue this into uh, my adulthood. And I just kind of want to make those, I want to give my baby those ex uh, exposure to those things to sort of decide, oh, I really, I'm really into science, or maybe I'm really into music, or, or maybe I, I do like the stuff that my mom likes, too. I, maybe I do like art and writing. Um, I just kind of want to see where, where that, where that takes them. Um, I am very, uh, like, I am very passionate about stories and, and games. So I will probably definitely have some, uh, try and sort of expose them to many different stories and games as they're growing up. Um, obviously, like, if they're, they're not having it, they're not having it, but, um, I definitely feel passionate about those things, so I'd, I'd like to, to at least share those things, um, with my child, um, and various, like, various movies that, that I enjoy, um, you'd mentioned are, like, stories and, and books specifically, um, like, I have good memories of reading Harry Potter, the Harry Potter series was coming out as I grew up, so, mm -hmm. Um, I have good memories of my mom reading to me and my brother, um, the Harry Potter series. So, um, that's one thing that I would like to, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it since the entire series is out. It's not like I can kind of chunk it up into different, uh, it's like, oh, we have to wait for the next book. It's like, no, they're all out. <laughs> um, so I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I definitely like, there's just certain book series that I, I really remember enjoying that I'd love to, to share with them if they enjoy them too. So. Yeah, and I, I wanted to say I'm certainly envious. Uh, Randy is a real gamer, and I never – gaming was – I was too far old for the <laughs> – I think to uh, really get into gaming, and Randy is wonderful at uh, doing the gamings on uh, on the Internet, which I'm totally ignorant of. So I'm I'm certainly envious of that, and I think your your daughter is really going to enjoy uh, learning that at your uh, at your side. So that that's going to be terrific. Uh, I, one of the things that I w wanted to ask you about, um, one of the things about childhood is that uh, we're sort of with uh, our child like 24 seven for the first five years and uh, we're really close. And then all of a sudden uh, they're going to school uh, and, and certainly even before then probably interacting with other kids. And uh, I think that's, that's a very important. And uh, I'm guessing that you've been thinking about uh, you know, playmates and uh, what school is going to bring and things like that and and how you might uh, <clears throat> ease your daughter into uh, into all that. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's definitely been on my mind. Um, <clears throat> like even just the social, my, my current social circles. Um, I know like I don't have a lot of friends who actually have kids. So I've been actually having to sort of reach out or discover new social circles of, of folks who do have kids um, and learn from them and also like make those connections um, in sort of toward the idea that like I would like to have sort of playmates for, for my baby daughter when she gets here. Um, and... And yeah, a lot of that will be sort of schooling, I imagine. Um, I will actually need to put them, uh, my, uh, yeah, I will need to put them into daycare. Um, not soon, soon, but like, I am a working adult. I, I will have to go back to work. So <laughs> um, daycare is on the horizon and that will probably get them exposed to um, to other kids pretty early on. But um, yeah, I am. I have been looking into like, just like groups like you can find all these groups online of, of various um like on facebook or there's also in seattle there's a specific um community group i'm not quite sure what to call it um sort of a nonprofit called peps um and it's all about making those connections with other parents who are expecting around sort of the same time and have kids around the same age um 
So I'm just trying to kind of dip my toes into all these different areas so that um, maybe they'll meet their lifelong friend in, in one of these, like their bestie or whatever or, or whatnot. Um, it's, I mean, and maybe it won't come of it and nothing will come of it either. But like having at least giving it a shot and seeing sort of where it goes is, is sort of my, my, my thoughts there. Um, and I am also um, very blessed to have some amazing friends as well, um, who I all hope can be amazing Hanai aunties and uncles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so maybe they'll, I mean, maybe they have some friends who will have kids and maybe they'll make that connection there. I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting to see how it all unfolds, but yeah, definitely trying to, to make those connections early. So. Absolutely. And I think that you're way ahead of the game in, in the fact that, uh, from what you've been saying is that you're leaving the field open for your child to develop. Uh, too often uh, in therapy, I find uh, parents who have definite ideas on the way they want their child to grow up and what they want their child to be and who they want their child to be. And, uh, and I think it's so important to understand, like you're saying, that this child is a unique individual and you're ready to support her and whoever she becomes and whatever she wants to do. And I think that's really important because when you're making friends in that, you need that, that strength to know that you're, you're okay, that uh, you're not having to be somebody you're not. And I think that that's, mm -hmm. that's critical. And I think that's, that's wonderful that you're able to, to pass that on. Uh, one of the things I did want to ask you was that, uh, you know, we're sort of focusing on your daughter who is to coming in the spring and um, and what she's going to enjoy and how she's going to enjoy it. Uh, uh, can we get sort of specific about what the joys of parenthood is like, what what you're what you're looking forward to enjoying yourself to make to give yourself joy uh, along with giving your daughter joy? I feel like that's a hard question to answer because like I've been so focused on like <laughs> trying to have a child that um it's been on my mind for for years now um so like thinking more about myself is it's it feels weird to like be like well what about me um <laughs> <laughs> but like I mean it it's I do have to say like I I I hope that I will find joy sort of in just experiencing, getting to see sort of them grow and seeing them get to experience what they experience. Um, but I think if we are like really just talking about me, myself and I, um, I think it's just going to be the little moments at the beginning, at least, because it will be fairly focused on the child at the beginning. Um, but I think it will be like, having a, tea, a cup of tea in the morning like just enjoying it like sitting down and like making my favorite cup of tea and just being like maybe maybe she slept through the night and she's sleeping in and I'm just sitting there being like ah oh, it's like a moment of, of quiet I don't know like um I think it will just be finding those little moments um and of and I do also want to sort of continue the friendships that I currently have. I have some really amazing friends who are not parents, so they won't be able to necessarily um, relate to me in in those ways. But they've been like super supportive, and maybe it's just like every month or maybe every couple months, like being like, "Hey, we should go out and have a nice dinner." Like I'm gonna hire a nanny and like. Or like have my other friend who is not busy watch them so that I can hang out with you and like we can have a nice dinner and just sort of chat. Um, so I think it's yeah, definitely the little things I'm gonna try and make those moments. So well, that's terrific, and that's the way it certainly happened with me. Is that uh, I was the first of my group of friends to have a uh, a child, and uh, so they became like you say, and I aunties and uncles and. Uh, and they formed a very special relationship. I think the key joy for me was that, uh, was love, you know? I mean, during life, uh, you get to know people. And some of those people you come to really like, and some of them you come to love. Uh, but the wonder of a child is that the love is there from the beginning. You know, <laughs> you know 
all of a sudden, like you said, she's there in your arms, and uh, love is doesn't have to develop. It's it's there from the beginning, and it's it's truly a joyful thing. Randy, our time is running a little low, and I wanted to ask you uh, finally uh, because there are a number of other people that are watching this show, I'm sure, that are either contemplating uh, having a child or uh, in the process of having a child like you are. And uh, what advice uh, might you give these, uh, you know, the audience that is looking in on that about, uh, uh, you know, because you've gone through and dealt with a lot of this so far. And uh, so so what what might you say to those people in the audience? I'm not sure I can give any advice to the people who are expecting, like me. I feel like I've been accumulating advice from others while I make my way <laughs> through this. But <clears throat> for those who, who are maybe considering, um, and I mean, like, it's something you str feel strongly about. Like, it's something, it's a goal in life or something you feel passionate about. You know you want to have kids. Um, I guess I would specifically speak to them and say, like, think about how you want to make it happen. Like maybe you're in your early 20s, maybe you're in your 30s, maybe you're younger than that, or or even maybe you're reaching your 40s. Um, think about how you want to make that happen and work toward it. Um, and maybe it's just going to be little uh, baby steps. Um, but um, sometimes like, you just you just got to work toward it. And um, sometimes you might need to adjust and, and change plans as you as you move toward it. And that's going to be OK. Um, there's a lot of paths to parenthood, um, and we're living in an amazing time where uh, science and technology have enabled many different types of families. So um, it's not going to be easy, but whatever path you take, um, try to find the joy in it. Well, so That's terrific. That's uh, Thank you for that. Uh, and thank you for the sharing today. And, uh, you know, it's just marvelous being with you as always, Brandy. And, uh, I certainly will, uh, you know, wish you the best. And not only that, but I'll hope that you'll keep me advised on how things are going. And maybe we can talk you into coming back on the show in the summer telling us uh, <laughs> what it's like as a new parent uh, after the event has happened. So that would be wonderful as well. Yeah. So thank you very much for being with us. And thanks at all to the uh, the people here at Think Tech Hawaii, at, for Michael and uh, Carol and Jay and Haley and everybody. And thanks to you in the audience uh, for being here with us. Uh, it's always a pleasure having you join us. And I look forward to seeing you again in two weeks, same time, same place. Uh, and we'll be finding happiness in hard times. Aloha. Mm -hmm.